Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the liquify command to interactively distort an image and give the appearance of liquefying your image. You can liquefy a layer by simply selecting the layer that you want to apply the effect to and then choosing filter, rolling down to the distort command, and then choosing the liquify command from the side menu that appears within the menu bar. This will then launch the liquify dialog box where you can make distortions to the selected layers content. At the right side of the liquify dialog box within the tool options sections you will need to set the size of the brush that you will use, its brush pressure, and turbulent jitter which changes the smoothness of the turbulence. You would then just click into your image to watch the selected distortion take effect. To then apply a distortion, simply choose the distortion tool that you want to use from the list of buttons that appear at the left side of the Liquify dialog box. Warp pushes pixels forward as you drag. The Turbulence tool smoothly scrambles pixels and can be used to create effects such as fire and clouds. You can use the Twirl Clockwise tool to spin the pixels that you click and drag over with your brush in a clockwise direction. And you can use the Twirl Counterclockwise button to spin in the opposite direction. You can use the Pucker tool to pull the sides of the brush stroke inward towards the center of the brush. You can use the Bloat tool to push the pixels from the center of the brush towards the outer edge of the brush. You can use the Shift Pixels tool to move the pixels in a perpendicular direction from the direction that you drag the brush stroke. So for example, as you drag the brush down, the pixels will be pulled from left to right as you drag downward. As you drag upward, the pixels will be pulled from right to left. You can also hold down the Alt key while dragging to reverse the direction from which the pixels will be pulled when using this tool. The Reflection tool drags a reversed image of the pixels that you select at a 90 degree angle to the motion of your brush. Once again, if you hold down the Alt key, you can reverse the direction of the reflection. You can use the Reconstruct tool to reconstruct areas of the image that you have distorted. Now also note that once you click the OK button to accept any image distortions, you cannot use the Reconstruct tool at a later time to reconstruct previously made distortions. Now also note that after you've made distortions, if you click the revert button at the right, all of the changes that you've made in the current session will be reversed and the image will be fully restored. When you're finished applying the changes that you want to the image, you can click the OK button to apply the liquefaction to the selected image layer. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp.com forward slash free.